Find the geometric sequence with a1 equals 2 and r equals 3. So if a1 equals 2 and r equals 3, well, the first term is 2, and if r is 3, what that means is you multiply by 3 to get from one term to the next. So 2 times 3 is 6. I'm going to do it again, times 3. 6 times 3 is 18. I'm going to do it again, 3 18 is 54. Uh, 3 times 54 well, is 3 times 50 plus 3 times 4. It must be 150 plus 12, 1, 6, 2, and so on. Right? But as far as the so on goes, well, the nth term should potentially be the last number there. So you know for, an, uh, for a geometric sequence, you know that a n equals a1 times r to the power n minus 1. So the nth term a n is going to be a1 2 times 3 to the n minus 1. So instead of putting this sort of dot dot dot, uh, I could well I could have a little dot 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 and I could say my last term is going to be 2 times 3 to the power n minus 1. So that's the whole sequence from term 1 continuing all the way up to the last term.